Part of her interview, I'm wondering if you could teach me a brief minute of movement, and 
I am one who is coordination challenged, not so much of a dancer, but uh, for our viewers to so we can dance. get a feel for what you do. Yes, dance is what everyone is. I right? always say I like that, that philosophy. Yes. yes. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm thinking. Let's do the easiest. Easiest is best. I'm planning to. <laughs> All right. So, you put your feet together. All right. Yes. Put your hands mm -hmm. right there. Perfect. Yes. And you go. You're going down. Hey, yeah. Yeah, it's like the knees bent. All right. Okay, in Bharatanatyam, this is like a given. <laughs> thai, yeah, thai. And thai, yeah. Hit a sec, thai. Thai, hit a sec, thai. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's a, like the slowest speed. I have this. Oh, you, you got it. <laughs> so then it will be faster. Yeah, you're doing it so well. And you are a good teacher, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Cheryl. <laughs> Could you teach me something with arms? Uh, sure. Mm, we could do... We could do this. Like up and down. Yes. And up. Yeah, and down. And up and down. Yeah, so it would be like this, this, thai, and you go one, two, three, and back one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah. I need to be Beautiful. watching you. <laughs> but I did it. All you right, did it. you're did good. <laughs> You're really good. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank and you now we'll get to talk and learn a little sure. bit about you, too. Definitely. So here we go. Why don't we go and have a seat? Sure. Well, Davika, that was wonderful, fun, and uh, just beautiful to watch you in action with the dance, and then extra bonus to get to learn a little tiny bit of the movement. Uh, when you become teacher to me, what were we just doing? Um, we did the um, the basic steps. It's called the um, Nritta, mm -hmm. um, N R I T T A. So mm -hmm. that would um, include just the dance steps, mm -hmm. um, without um, emoting, without the story. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. That would be Nritya, N R I T Y A. This is Sanskrit. Uh, um, can so you say that again? Please? Nritya. Nritya. Mm -hmm. yeah, N-R-I-T-Y-A. Mm -hmm. So Bharatanatyam consists of uh, Nritta, mm -hmm. that's the dance movements, just mm -hmm. the steps, the pure dance. Mm -hmm. And we have Nritya, that is the uh, Abhinaya, that's the expression part of it. Mm -hmm. And um, emoting, mm -hmm. um, and it includes a lot of gestures, yes. the eyes, and um, Pretty much uh, storytelling. Yes, that's right. Acting, drama. Mm -hmm. That's the nutya part of it. Mm. So, <coughs> and um, so uh, that, as audience there, that is my reaction. Like I feel like I'm witnessing a story as well as beautiful dance here. Yes, um, um, definitely. What I did was uh, called the. It's it's called the Natesh Kautuvam. It is um, celebrating Lord Shiva. Uh, mm -hmm. One of the um, <coughs> uh, main gods of Hinduism, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. <coughs> Brahma, Shiva, Shiva, and Vishnu. Mm -hmm. So this is celebrating um, Shiva, and he's the lord of dance too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, he's known for his Tandava. It's called, uh, Shiva's dance is called the Tandava. Mm -hmm. um, he is um, the god of destruction, mm -hmm. and um, the cause of rebirth. Mm -hmm. Um, so uh, his dance is the Tandava, and my dance was celebrating him and his dance. Mm -hmm. Wow, well, <coughs> thank you so much for bringing it here to our studio today. Uh, usually we um, come to people's homes for the interview, but in this case, uh, to be able to do this dance, uh, the dance is uh, part of the home of who you are, in a way. Dance has been very important to you, from what I understand, for a good part of your life. 
right? Definitely. Uh, growing, up, growing up in Chennai, India, um, it was going to school and then going to dance lessons. Mm -hmm. Uh, so this how often? Um, twice a week, mm -hmm. usually mm -hmm. the weekends. And some practice at uh, home? Definitely practice at home. Yes. Uh -huh. And classes. Um, mm -hmm. So this, is, this was my life, um, mm -hmm. going to school and going to dance class. Mm -hmm. And because you loved it or it was part of the expectation within family? Um, it, I loved it. Um, you know, the kid would not uh, stick with it mm -hmm. <laughs> if the child does not um, He's not into it, um, and it, it's something that comes naturally. Mm -hmm. um, I think um, it was just innate for me to um, dance, um, mm -hmm. and I loved innate, Bharatanatyam. Yes. Uh -huh. As um, you said, everybody da everybody can yes. dance. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. And um, so, was it something that? You would witness also uh, frequently where you were living in Chennai. Yes, Chennai is a is a cultural um, a city. Um, even today, um, it holds on to its roots and culture. It's a city of temples, as is the state mm -hmm. of Tamil Nadu. Um, um, history is um, we don't have the palaces, um, but um, amazingly, the temples mm -hmm. um, are still intact. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, it's it's just inundated with every city, every town, every small village is um, uh, is filled with uh, temple structures mm -hmm. um, of the main gods um, and um, all the um, thousands of gods and goddesses wow. of Hinduism. That's a lot. <laughs> yes, <laughs> there is. Like every town, uh, every street corner mm -hmm. would have a, a deity like mm -hmm. the Ganesha. Mm -hmm. That's he's the presiding deity of all the gods. Mm -hmm. He's the son of Sh Shiva. Mm -hmm. So every turn, you would find a small. Uh -huh. um, so you, you wouldn't call it a temple, but a shrine. Yes. Uh -huh. So. So full of spirituality. Yes. Definitely. Where you were growing up. Yes. And also part of that was also. Um, honoring uh, art and dance. Yes, and music and dance, mm -hmm. um, the backbone of the city, mm -hmm. uh, the, the classical dance mm -hmm. and music, mm -hmm. and folk music and dance is the backbone of um, Chennai and Tamil Nadu. Mm -hmm. um, so um, it's, it's hard for, for a child not to, you know, get immersed into. Mm -hmm. Right. into either music or dance mm -hmm. and it does not mean um, there's also Western music mm -hmm. in Chennai and mm -hmm. India my brother um, he specialized in piano mm -hmm. um, and um, yeah so in, in my family um, I think my parents decided that my brother would take the Western classical mm -hmm. music and mm -hmm. I would do the Indian ah. <laughs> take up dance and so have you been doing this dance all your life? Um, I did. I learned for almost 10 years um, and performed. Starting at 7? Starting at 7. Mm -hmm. And um, there was a break. Um, I wanted to pursue um, um, higher studies and uh, came to U.S. in 1998. And there was quite a bit of a break, to be honest. That's for your studies? You uh, that's for my studies, yes. Mm -hmm. no, I came to U.S. for my master's um, mm -hmm. in, in, inter in international relations. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was a break in my dancing. But then um, as a bird would fly to its nest, <laughs> to its home, <laughs> if, I mean, you know, uh, it, it is. Uh, it was just natural for me to come back, get back to, to dancing, mm -hmm. to do my classical dance. So uh, how many years has it been you've been returned back to dance? I started dancing, um, there was like more than 10 year break. Uh -huh. But then my son was born mm -hmm. and um, he was a year old, I started dancing ah, again. Okay. Ah, and I okay. do classical, I do semi-classical, I do the uh, folk um, mm -hmm. songs. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just dance and you know, I just, mm -hmm. I love to tap my feet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it's obvious that you love it. Uh, as you uh, seem to embody the dance in the story and uh, show a gift for that. Um, so thank you for sharing that again. And uh, I'm curious <coughs> to ask you um, about your life beyond dance as well. Um, 
Uh, but uh, I, get, I guess one, one other thing about dance is uh, what you were wearing uh, we had meant to address. If you wanted to talk about that for a minute, you told me it takes uh, quite a while to put on the dance. Yes, this is, um, it took three hours for me to dress three up. Three hours. And I danced for five minutes. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the irony of it, but um, yes, uh, the makeup, mm -hmm. um, it is highlighting your eyes. Mm -hmm. um, and the hair dressing, um, oh, wearing the jewelry. Mm -hmm. um, so pretty much what you see is this is the um, authentic way of dressing up. No mm -hmm. compromises. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So um, yes. yes, this is um, custom made um, in Chennai, India. Uh, they take a sari and mm -hmm. they turn it into a costume. Mm -hmm. Do it. Oh, it's truly beautiful. Thank you so much. So, thank thank you. you for your time. Thank in you, dressing Cheryl. Also. Thank you for this opportunity. So, um, so now we are in Hopkinton, yes. and you have brought a bit of uh, where you grew up in Chennai to Hopkinton today. And for our viewers, um, how long have you lived in the town here? Um, it's been two. We moved in summer of 2016, so it's two and a half years now. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. And uh, we just love Hopkinton. Uh, mm -hmm. We lived in um, uh, Winchester before. It's near north of Boston mm -hmm. and uh, Norwood, south of Boston. Um, um, I really love my son and I and my husband too. We we love the um, the scenic. Um, mm -hmm. um, every nook and corner you turn to is mm -hmm. is a greenery and. Um, uh, wildlife and yes. the birds, mm -hmm. I'm pretty amazed, uh, and the people. <laughs> ah, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the friendly folk, mm -hmm. folks around, and um, eclectic um, cultures, of, mm -hmm. and uh, it's, it's wonderful to be here. I, I would say I wouldn't, would never ever want to move from Hopkins. Wow, well, that's <laughs> quite an endorsement. <laughs> we we do love it, truly. Yes, yes. Um, <coughs> well, that's good to hear, and welcome to town. Um, and um, so you arrived here in the time of pursuing your studies and yes. a master's in, in inter in international relations. Yes, and in Ohio University. Ohio, and that's where you met your husband. True, that's where he uh, came to. Uh, he's from my city, mm -hmm. and back home our homes were just twenty minutes away. Ah, and mm -hmm. our destiny got us Ooh. far, far away. Yes, <laughs> How about sometimes that? yes, and then um, yeah, we I met him here and. Um, we have uh, Nithilan, he's, uh, he's 11 years old, mm -hmm. and yes. Tux, <laughs> the, uh -huh. the little guy Tux you met. Tux, little dog, <laughs> that's right. Uh -huh. yeah. He's very uh, <clears throat> vibrant, uh, energetic little sweet dog. <laughs> he is, he is. <laughs> Who has a dance of his own. He does. <laughs> Tux is dance, yes, definitely. Uh -huh. And song yes. too. He uh -huh. sometimes breaks <laughs> into. It's not, you know, the sound so it makes so it's similar mm -hmm. to singing mm -hmm. <laughs> or oh, talking. Yeah, yeah. So um, that is a bit of um, the um, essence of you uh, moving out here, um, and uh, you studied international relations. Is that the work that you're involved with? Um, though I did days? pursue international relations, mm. um, my first job was uh, interning with the Association for Women in Science in DC. Ah, and uh -huh. I was in the fundraising department. Mm -hmm. And from there, um, I switched to raising money for nonprofits. Mm -hmm. I worked uh -huh. with Girl Scouts and Volunteers of America. Mm -hmm. and. Um, an Asian organization in Boston. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I do uh, freelance work now, but uh, hoping to um, enter, entering working with an, with another nonprofit soon. Uh -huh. Ah, and in the area of fundraising in particular, yeah, um, in helping nonprofits. Yes, that's mm -hmm. that's what I've been doing for past years. Mm -hmm. But I'm I'm open to switching oh. fields. Anything that helps people. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. uh, is what um, overcoming their impediments. Um, um, I would love to mm -hmm. help. Well, um, that uh, is uh, certainly uh, important uh, value uh, to speak of. Um, and you know, uh, some people might say, "Well, you know, my 
child has grown and it's time I'm going to go out and um, earn more money or work more hours for that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so where does that come from, the idea of um, wanting to contribute to do some work that's going to help others? Um, I, I think looking back, I've, I've, I've always been wired that way, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. is to help in some form. Mm -hmm. um, it could be teaching dance, mm -hmm. or it could be raising money to help nonprofits. Mm -hmm. um, uh, <clears throat> Um, I'm, a, I'm, I'm passionate about writing too. Ah, um, oh, well, I hopefully, uh, I, I do want to get into writing. I have um, uh, a lot of ideas uh, for books. Um, I just have to just get get going with Make that field. Make some time you know? and yes. apply yourself. To yes, this, <laughs> which is many people's story, right? Yes. Uh huh. So oh, I'm, I'm inspired by your work, Cheryl, and. Uh, well, I good, and I can get you maybe to one of my programs <laughs> also. I, I, it's long due. Uh -huh. I've been telling you that I, I'd love to come with mm -hmm. you. Uh, so you're <coughs> interested in writing uh, nonfiction in particular? Uh, yes, yeah. nonfiction is being um, my forte. And, mm -hmm. um, and I imagine that helps in fundraising when you're yes. writing a lot of information to convince mm -hmm. people. Yes. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Well, and, and thinking about your interest back in studies in international relations, have you done um, much travel in your life? Um, pretty much getting out of India and mm -hmm. coming to U.S. Mm -hmm. I've not lived in any other mm -hmm. country. Mm -hmm. um, it has been, um, what I studied was sustainable development. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, if I if I taken the pursued um, that path, then I would have been traveling a lot. Um, yeah. But then family <laughs> happened, and right. Um, mm -hmm. So um, yeah. it's just a steering away from what I studied. But then there's always um, scope for um, uh, implementing the lessons learned. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, my specialization was communication and de development. Mm -hmm. So it's it's always you find scope to mm -hmm. um, apply what you studied. Yes, yes. <coughs> um, and you travel back and forth sometimes. Yes, that's, that's well. what we do all the time. Mm -hmm. um, because you still have fa family. Yes, we have all our family mm -hmm. in India. Yes. Um, and um, we try to go um, every year. Mm -hmm. uh, that may not be possible sometimes, but then my son enjoys going back too mm -hmm. to see family and um, friends. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's, it's an enriching experience uh -huh. it's, it's, the, it's to take the best of both worlds. Sure, yes, yes, and it sounds like <coughs> you were, have found a, a way of doing that very well and for your son <coughs> as well as yourself. Mm. And how about uh, otherwise, are there any other hobbies or interests you speak of? writing and you have dance and um, I've done when I was small I've done voice over work voice a lot of over. voice acting ah, uh -huh. and that's acting. again that's something in my kit uh, you know in my in my hobby kit uh -huh. you <laughs> were a child when you were doing acting <coughs> yes I've done voice acting mm -hmm. um, so that's something um, and I earned uh, money when I was small uh, uh, voice acting so that's something I would love to do too and I'm mm -hmm. passionate about cooking I say um, so there are, there are se several things um, mm -hmm. and um, I just have to start ticking mm -hmm. check checkbox trying to get everything done yes well you've had a lot going on um, uh, up to this point, uh, so uh, I'm sure you will figure it out because you have uh, done so many uh, interesting and uh, important things in your life to this point. Um, so I, I know you come from theater people also that you yes, have. Yes, um, I uh, just thought I have to mention, I come from a family of musicians, mm -hmm. actors, um, my father, um, Ty Inbin is a music composer. Mm -hmm. My mom, Vijaya, um, she's a singer, um, an actor, and a politician. Mm -hmm. um, so she she wears several hats, and yes. she's very good at juggling uh -huh. them. And my brother is a music composer. My sister-in-law is an actress. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. My grandpa, um, on my dad's side, um, 
he's a he's a professional actor, mm -hmm. um, theater and cinema. Mm. And my aunt, uh, my my mom's sister, she's an actress. Um, she was. Um, so, so family. Um, um, well, theater and it's mm -hmm. very important as well. Yes. Well, um, um, I just want to take this few seconds to ta thank my dance teachers. Oh, sure. Uh, in Chennai, uh -huh. um, uh, my first guru is Krishna Kumari Narendran. Is mm. her name, and um, uh, and my present teacher is Miss um, Parvati Ravi Gantasala. So I would like to thank them uh -huh. for um, uh, imparting this uh, ancient. Um, art. Um, yes. There's a lot of heritage and it's the oldest classical uh, dance of India. Mm. It go goes back to even 6th century. Oof. Yes, very So um, I'm amazed. Um, there's several things that didn't stay on, but the classical dance and music is still vibrant and alive. And I thank them both um, for teaching me and presently my teacher uh, Parvati Ravi Gantasala for encouraging me and mm. um, she's definitely um, a great inspiration for me yes. to keep doing this. Well, absolutely, and I hope that you <coughs> continue to do so and share it out, the dance out with others and also tell people that everyone has dance in them as part of life yes. and it kind of uh, fuses in with the philosophy uh, you speak of and where you uh, grew up in of, of theater and story, dance, uh, as well as spirituality and how yes. they all fuse yes. um, uh, in honoring life in a way. And yes. I thank your teachers as well. We are just about out of time already. It oh, went wow. by so fast. That was nice. <laughs> it was a very, um, very, very um, interesting and um, kind of the, the questions were um, truly um, sincere. Well, I'm uh, glad to you discover myself. Them, especially <laughs> after uh, what you did with your body and that exertion from the dance as well. So thank you for thank sitting you. down and giving thank pause you, to the Cheryl. questions. Well, thank you so much. And I wish you a very good, uh, prosperous and happy and healthy 2019. Thank and you.